So you sold your beer to your customers, but some of them complained that after they put them inside of a fridge, they noticed that the label gets all damaged. What you're looking for is to make your label, the final label for your product, water and cold resistant. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can improve the quality of your beer label and how to make it water and cold resistant. Hello everybody, my name is Stefano from Labelado, where we are experts in printing labels and packaging for products. So without further ado, let's discover together how to make the labels of your beer more resistant to water and cold temperatures. First of all, you need to think about the material that the labels of your beers are made of. They can be made both in paper, so coated paper or uncoated paper, which is made of pulp, or plastic materials, for example, like this one. From a basic point of view, plastics are the best. Plastic materials like polypropylene, PET, PVC are all water resistant, cold resistant, scratch resistant. So they are one of the best materials that you can choose to avoid all the headaches. But if your product, if your beer needs a paper, a coated paper, a coated and varnished paper or a natural paper, you want to select a particular kind of paper. The material that you want to look for are wet strength materials, wet strength paper, wet strength. Wet strength is usually a particular substance that is mixed with the pulp of the paper material to make the label resistant to water and colder temperatures. Then still for pulp based papers and materials like coated or natural papers, we have a stronger solution, which is papers with Barriers. Papers with barriers are the same as the natural paper that you're looking for or the coated paper that you're looking for. The only difference is that they have behind them a 20 micron barrier made of polyethylene. So in front of the label you will not be able to tell the difference but behind there's a plastic barrier that makes your label more resistant to water, to bubbles and to colder temperatures. So here I just gave you three different kinds of materials that you can use to enhance the quality of your labels. Remember that all the materials that I talked about are self-adhesive materials and if you're still doing hot melt, you will not achieve great results in making your labels more resistant to water, to the refrigerator and to colder temperatures in general. When we're talking about plastics or coated and natural papers that have a polyethylene barrier behind them, you get the best resistance ever. You can also put them in an ice bucket and you won't see any kind of bubbles. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button and if you have more questions, leave it down below in the comment section and I'll be happy to answer back to each one of them. I hope that the labels of your products may stick tightly to your bottles and as always, love you all, ciao!